Now I want to show you how to use Lumetri Looks. If you scroll over to the folder and click the drop down menu, you'll see some subfolders. Click again, but this time you will see thumbnails. And if you scroll down, you see a list. You'll see images of thumbnails. So I'll scroll down. I want to make this image look a little more cinematic. Click on it and drag it onto the timeline. As you can see with the, the image above, it has given it a more cinematic approach. I'll scroll down. There's many other things. There's a day and night one I want to show you. It may not work entirely correctly, but click and drag it onto the night. And there you go. Oh, it's not too bad. It sort of gives you the impression that it was shot at night. Not perfect, not perfect, but you can get the idea, get the idea. And there is some of these effects, which you can use in the video effects, but on the Luminite looks, they are pretty good. Uh, you may find yourself wanting to use this folder a little more than this folder in the foreseeable future. I believe that Adobe are going to continue to add additions to this over time. But it's not just cinematic things. I will saturation you can see here you can scroll down over saturation black and white mid tones mix overall much you can see what you can do and style which is back in the day there's stuff like 60s and 70s and let's just say you wanted to add like a dream effect there you go So I um, there's not too much options here, but I think I do believe in the future they will be adding more and more features to this, more and more effects as you would or as you may want to call it, filters will be added. This is something to remember, and you may not use this folder too much at the beginning, but I believe over time you'll be using a lot more from under, from what is in this folder. Now, before we move on to titles, I want to show you something that is a bit of a crossover with titles, but not quite. It's still effects based. It was a difficult one to categorize. So what you do, if you've not already on the pr project bin again, scroll down to another little notepad icon and it says new item, click on it, and you've got all these options, a sequence, offline file, adjustment layer, title, bars and tone, black video, closed captions, color mat, HD bars and tone, universal counting leader, and transparent video. What I'm going to show you is three ones that I use from time to time. They already are on the timeline, as you can see here. So I'm going to play one. As you can see, this is a classic old fashioned film countdown, clock countdown. The next one is just, as you can imagine from watching television shows of television problems or television down, you, can, you don't see it much anymore, but in the past you can almost a test screen as well. And finally, nothingness, nothingness, just black. Now, these two ones are quite fancy because they are just, you could usually put it at the beginning or the end for, it's quite fancy to show off that and it's, you know, it's a bit show off. The black bars are used the black space is used, the black video is used, usually at the beginning or the end of a video, just to give you that little extra space on a video if you're a little short, or in video clips at the beginning, 
shot and clips at the beginning, etc. The first two have sound, and the other is just silent. So just remember this little notepad down here, you can make changes, and that's it for this part of the video. Thank <laughs> you.